Let's put that one out there. There's all the mores that were present for the convention. As you can see, no socks and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Smiles and good times. But once again, it's not all the mores that came out and showed their support. You know what I mean? And keep in mind, on the on the eve, at the same time, the same time, right? Now think about this now. Think about this. September sixteenth. September 16th, right? Rest in peace, Terence Crutcher, shot up by police with his hands up. Car stalled on the highway, needing help, got shot up. At the same time, Moors with Elodio nationality cards that stand for their Moorish nation that they know exists got stopped by highwaymen in the backwoods somewhere, nighttime. Nighttime and left. No tickets, nobody getting their ass kicked, no handcuff, and most importantly, nobody dying. You know, we know that you wanted to be here, but you weren't able to be, but you know, we here, man. It's 917 16. We here. 720 more, baby. Islam, uh, Isaiah. We here, man. So. You know, when it's all said and done, you can't say that we're not being active. You can't say that we're not putting stuff on the record. You can say a lot of things. All right, real quick. So, we were, uh, we were in our rights were infringed on last night as we were traveling, not driving, as we were traveling to so-called Pittsburgh. Uh, European pulled us over, and he asked me for a license. What's that? I, I, I don't have a license, but I do have identification. He told you trying to tell me I was driving. I think somebody else got it. I think some sign got it. But anyway, he gave me a citation that said it was a traffic safety reminder. It was not a ticket. It was a reminder. So for those that say you can't operate or you can't um, use a land conveyance without a driver's license, I'm proof. Brother Rasil was in the front seat with me. Indeed. What, what happened last night? Mm. They asked for a driver's license. What'd they get? They got identification. Was it driver's no license? license? Okay. No license. Did we go to jail? No, we did not. Well, we they didn't even ask for insurance, anything. Did they ask for registration? Nope. Did they ask for insurance? Nope. Did they put handcuffs on us? Nope. Were we able to go free? Yep. And we still didn't have no license? Still didn't have a license. And we, no was, one and we no was in the rental, right? In the rental. <laughs> you still think that nationality is some BS? All right. You're entitled to your opinion. You have that right to be a stupid dumbass. You have that right. You have that right to be a dumbass. So do your thing. And we're always gonna, we're gonna try every class to read something out of this because, you know, only dumbasses don't read and don't know who they are. Ray was a name given to an ancient Egyptian ruler who priests honored by allowing the sun to be a symbol for him. Because both the man, Ray, and the sun had provided great benefits to the Egyptian people. The Tanis Stella explained that the Harka had ruled lands as far as the setting of the sun in the west. The name Stella declared that Taharka had been away from home for many years on some expedition beginning at age 20. Other ancient Egyptian records describe building projects carried out during the reign of Taharqa. One of those inscriptions mentioned something very curious, pyramids that had tall stairways, which led to temples on top of the pyramids. I had, been, I had seen ancient pyramids in the Americas, and I knew that most of these pyramids had tall stairways. 
the pyramid in what is now called is in the pyramid in what we now call Egypt in northeast Africa have no stairways on their exteriors or temples on their summits. The ancient pyramid hieroglyphs were describing pyramids in the Americas, not the pyramids in northern Africa. I began looking for inscriptions that describe staircases on Egyptian pyramids when I remembered something that would narrow the search. There are pyramids in the Americas that have two staircases that reach to the summits. If I could find Egyptian inscriptions that mention pyramids with double staircases, the search could possibly begin to match American pyramids to events in the Egyptian histories. For weeks, nothing appeared. Then at one o'clock in the morning, a double staircase inscription came into view. The Egyptian account of the double stairway is on a stella reported, reportedly taken from a temple on the Nile River. The stella speaks of blessings granted to Ramses II by an Egyptian deity. Here is the double staircase inscription carved on the stele. <clears throat> Thou hast made an august residence to make strong the boundary of the two lands. It is plentiful in provisions for Egypt, flourishing like the four pillars of heaven. I put on thy crown with my own two hands, when thou appearest upon the great double staircase. A large pyramid with a great double staircase had stood in the Aztec capital when the conquistadors arrived in Mexico. Because of something I knew about this island, I thought the double staircase mentioned on the stella was referring to the large pyramid on the Aztec island. But that was not the right pyramid. Another pyramid, the greatest pyramid in the Americas, had the great double staircase. That stairway is on the Pyramid of the Sun at Teu Teotihuacan. Was the Egyptian stella referring to that Ram was the Egyptian stella revealing that Ramses had been crowned Pharaoh on the double staircase of a pyramid in Mexico? And that was page 57 to 59, Horace Butler, When Rocks Cry Out. Not even a joke out here. These people want to be. You know, that's just that's just our people. You know what I mean? Hard head, stiff neck people. Only learn at the point of a sword. Only learn at the point of a sword. Peace and love, Moors. I'm Gibraltar L. Bay in Canaan, Ontario Territory. I was walking to catch the bus at 12.30 last night, and all I hear out of nowhere is Islam fam in the middle of a big parking lot near Markham Station. And the one car with people in it, a young Moor hops out and is like, yo, where are you coming from? Me, from work. Him with your fez on? Me, yeah, all day, every day. It's like my MasterCard. I don't leave home without it. <laughs> we both let out a hearty laugh. True, it was late and I had to get up early. I was not able to build with the moor, but we both had big smiles on our face like, yeah, moors are turning up. Three days ago while I was walking home from my friend's barbershop, Supernaturals, I'm crossing the road and a European man pulls up in his truck, skinning bare teeth, <laughs> staring at my fez, and says, Hey, are you a Shriner? No, I'm Moorish, I replied. And of course he said, Ah, yes, I see that. Beautiful. And peeled off. Unless it's raining, I never leave home without my fez. Like Steely Dan said in his <laughs> 1976 song. <laughs> No, I'm never going to do it without the fez on. Oh, no. Peace and love always to true and faithful Moors worldwide. Islam, Islam, Islam. Seven salutes and honors. So that's Brother Gibraltar Bay. And Gibraltar Bay is one of those Moors that he's coming from. We went to school. And many people we went to school with, we put this info on and uh, I don't know, really, whatever like that, but you know what I mean, he's one of the ones that said, what? 
I'm not black? What do you mean I'm not black? The hell are you talking about? What? We're Moors? And <laughs> and like the more <laughs> there was so much jokes in Pittsburgh, but like the Moors, like the Moors kept saying, certain people get this info and they hit the ground running, right? Just let's just just make the gallop sound. <laughs> they hit the ball running, right? Um, Brother Guamanaco L. Another correspondence, oh, peace, Cujo, and all Mars. Another correspondence I have received after sending my judicial notice. What's funny about it is the following the mailing address that I used to send the papers with care of and the brackets is in the shown letter. However, the minister addressed the letter to my father who lives in that jurisdiction. <laughs> so everybody's on the run, but giving up the goods. Everybody's on the run, but they're giving up the goods, right? So the Minister of National Revenue replied to a Moore's proclamation, right? And, and it's bluing signature too on the response. So clearly they know. Um, the next yeah, brother Gibraltar again <laughs> Islam Moors I'm Gibraltar El Bay in Canaan land <laughs> I don't even know what to say I hop on the bus at Macawan and Shepherd, and the European driver is talking to a brother. I walk by a sit down. Driver takes off, and I hear them talking, but it's none of my business until I hear blah 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 fez, blah 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 fez. So, of course, I get up and I walk to the front, and what the F? The European driver is dropping knowledge to the brother. But I can see this dude does not believe anything the driver is saying. Then like a genie out of a bottle, <laughs> I showed up. Islam. The driver was talking about the real Arabs were Moors. And talking about L's and Bays in sports. Talking about black people are not black. That black means dead in the eyes of the law, etc. Keep in mind, I have not said a word this whole time. I'm just watching. Then the driver asks me my name. I state my appellation and he turns to the brother and says, See, I told you. <laughs> so now he and I are talking to the brother and the brother has this look on his face like, Where the hell did you come from? Sadly, my stop was only two blocks away. I truly wish I could have stayed, but I don't, have, I don't like to linger when I'm traveling. I'm at a loss for words at how I feel. I was filled with joy after those encounters like you couldn't have written this in a movie script. Moorish energy is way up right now. Peace and love, Moors. Right? 